Along with Jordan Murray and Justin Falk from the Belleville Senators. Guys, uh, have you been enjoying your stay with Belleville so far? Uh, yeah, I, I like it here. It's my uh, second year here. so um, You're showing Justin around? Uh, it's showing tough, him. stuff with the kids. You know, it's, he's got a pretty hectic life. He's got um, three children. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, whenever, whenever he can, we'll, we'll get out and, and uh, do some stuff in the community. But, uh, yeah, it's been great so far. Justin's from a small town called Snowflake in uh, Manitoba. Very small town, you said. You wanted to get out and get right to having a family. Found your wife on MySpace, had three kids. Boom. Career, yeah, and you're on your way. I'm cruising away, running away with life here, and uh, <laughs> enjoying all the beautiful amenities Belleville has to offer. Well, now that the weather's starting to melt, there'll be a lot more for the kids to do, too, right? There's a beautiful Batawa Ski Hill there, and, you know, obviously the parks in Prince Edward County, it's... There's a lot of, like, great tourism stuff, but you got to be able to get outside. Yeah, and like you said, especially with three, you kind of get a little bit... Uh in the house and need the fresh air and all that. So uh, we've yeah. been to the parks a few times and uh, the indoor swimming facility there down at the, uh, right. the arena there. So there, we're finding things to do. And uh, as we as we get to know the area more, it's becoming more and more enjoyable. And for, uh, for you, Jordan, you're from Riverview, New Brunswick and just 26 years old. You've been here for two years now. You had a hat trick. Was it uh, a few weeks ago? Uh, no, that, yeah, I guess it was probably... Oh, you- Year and a half oh, is ago that now. long ago? Yeah. Oh, it's you're due, oh, you're for, due a new for another one, one then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's what's holding you up? Maybe what's tomorrow. going on? Um, it's uh, it's a hard sport, you know. <laughs> it's tough to score goals. <laughs> You had, a big, you had a big one the other night there for the boys. No, for the B. For the that's B, the model. Yeah. We got to get that trending around here. Yeah. More. <laughs> um, but you yeah, can... just that night was kind of everything was going in for me. It was pretty cool. My parents, my grandfather were in town too. Oh, so. that's amazing. That's great. Yeah. Do both of you have a chance to have your families in at all? I know there's some opposite ends of the country. Yeah, it kind of varies different year where you're every year where you're at and all that and the availability. My kids don't actually don't get to come to too many games. Weekends, the afternoon games, it makes mm-hmm. it more more easy. But for them to come to an evening game and, and stay up really late kind of affects the next couple of days. <laughs> it isn't quite worth it, my wife thinks. Uh, so, yeah, uh, no. But uh, yeah, it's always great when family can come in and for that to happen for Murray here with his family in town to, to experience something like that. That's that's very rare in this sport, especially for a defenseman. That's that's pretty cool for him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Any uh, quick quickly, we'll just ask you one last question. Any words of advice for young kids that are kind of because, you know, there's a plenty of kids if you haven't seen around the outside ring, just like admiring you and inspired by you. You have any kind of like words of advice to little guys who are just learning how to play hockey or, you know, coming up in the little leagues? Um, I think the biggest thing is, is you're never too good to learn, to learn new things. Um, you know, having a guy like Falker here this year, he's played almost 300 NHL games. Um, you know, he's been around for a long time, played a lot of pro hockey. Just to just to pick his brain and just to, to listen to all the wisdom he has. Um, for me, it's uh, it's, it's been a huge help. So um, definitely that. Just never, never be too stubborn to learn. Yeah, and then for you, Justin? Yeah, I, I agree with that. And, uh, and to kind of piggyback that, uh, not to be too stubborn to learn, but to, to know when it's time to, to take a break. And uh, we're kind of getting to that time of year as a young kid. I think mm. a majority of us as hockey players growing up, we put the skates away come spring and we That's pick great. up the, the golf clubs and the Good. ball glove and, and stuff like that. And I think kids are getting forced or pushed into more and more by their parents to hockey play hockey day. 12 months of the year and, and, and to burn them out and, and all that. And I just think the, that – to grow the overall athleticism of a kid and, and to keep the hunger and the, and mm-hmm. the excitement to just, just to play a lot of sports and to have fun and make that's, it fun. That's great. Thanks, guys, for coming in today. I wish you all the best. It was great meeting you both. Thank and, you. And uh, you guys got busy schedule coming up, a bunch of home games over uh, the yeah, next yeah. few days. So. Three, in the next, three in the next four four days or whatever at home here. So hopefully a lot of people will come out and support uh, the Belleville Senators and for the B. Always, always. <laughs> Good luck. Elena, you ready for news? We're I am. Let's get to it. Hold on. Now, another update from Quinty's.